Hey kids, would you like to suffer agonizing defeat day in and day out? Try musky fishing. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Indian Anarchy. I'm typically a positive person. Right now I'm positive that Nathan and I suck at musky fishing. <laughs> this is day four. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're probably not gonna see day one and three because practically nothing happened. And the only reason there's a day two is because we caught some pike and maybe saw some muskies. This has been <laughs> the toughest fishing I've had in a long time. Yeah. And the reason we came here is because we thought it was gonna be easy. It's never easy, it's never easy. Uh, so we have decent conditions this morning. We've got uh, some low clouds that looks like off there uh, that we're going to lose them pretty soon, but um, hopefully we can get something going today. Otherwise, you'll watch the downfall of two middle-aged men <laughs> just spiraling down into craziness. Sanity, Sanity, Sanity has, left has left the building, folks. So uh, let's get casting and see what we can do about this, shall we? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to start off throwing a Lee Lures Boilermaker. Gold Sucker, I think, is that color. This is a mini Boilermaker, that little double eight or uh, single eight blade. Uh, I'm throwing it on a Surgical Strike 2020 Assault Stick. That makes sense. What doesn't make sense is a Tranks 500. Uh, my 400 was being very squeaky and noisy and annoying, so I took it off and threw the Tranks 500 for now. Uh, still casts these little baits fairly well just because the rod loads up and can fling them out there. Nathan's throwing a little Esox Assault, single eight, Fire Tiger. I can't turn around. Yeah, there, yeah. it's that one. Uh, so yeah, we've got a couple bu bucktails rolling. We're just trying to cover some water. Um, you know, three to eight foot cabbage is what we're tossing at. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get one of these things to go. How big? 38. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. Just came cruising right in, huh? Blasted right in, ate it. Had it. All right, well. Couple head shakes and she was gone. They're moving. <laughs> Oh, just had another boil. Look at that. Fish. Got him. Got him. I don't think he's too big, but... <laughs> Is it? Oh, yeah. Come here, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Yay, we caught a musky. We caught a musky. Oh, it's like the smallest one we've seen the whole time. <laughs> My goodness. How hard have we worked for this 28 inches of awesomeness? I don't want to think about it. <laughs> cool spots on it. Um, three and a half days of fishing has culminated in probably one of the smallest muskies I've ever caught. But you have to start somewhere, and it's a nice looking fish. So uh, we got it on the net just because it was being crazy, just so we could safely unhook it, let him hang out, and we're going to. If you'll let me, <laughs> we'll take a quick look at it and get this thing back. Because it is a pretty fish. Yeah, I know. Come here. Come here. Get out there. That's a pretty little guy. But uh, emphasis on the little. All right. Let's get him back over here before he does something stupid. Get in there. There you go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you should see the look on Nate's face. It's just... <laughs> We're both dead inside right now. Just a little dead inside. But a couple more of those could liven things up a little bit. <laughs> Nice. 
this. Good one. Hey, that's bigger than the last one. Those are pretty fish, dude. Angry. <laughs> Angry. Hey. I mean, they're not huge. Yeah. It's all right. But I'll put her on spot lock and. That sanity is starting to return just a little bit. We've seen what? 11? 11. Yeah. Two hours. So. And we've kind of figured out a pattern, so that's the first time in four days we've figured out a, a pattern. Speaking of patterns. This is a very pretty fish. The paint job on this one is beautiful. Yeah, it is absolutely a fish. Just a nice greeny. Let's get her gone. Yeah, it's like it's a leopard print out of it. I know, isn't it? Not quite a tiger. Yeah, those. That looks cool, man. Yeah. All right. Well, Yay. I've got my mid twenties. You got a mid-ish thirties. Yeah. Yep. Working our way up. Yep. Oh, he's still there. He's still going. There he goes. <laughs> Man, these things are peppy. <laughs> Dude, these things are wild. Four times on the figure eight there. <laughs> That's a little bit better one. A little longer. Okay, well, we're not out of the game just yet. Oh, that was fun. That was Okay. Beautiful fish, dude. Just gorgeous. Oh yeah, that works. Ready to go. Thanks for the fun. Nicely done, sir. Shallow water mud and muskies. Boom. Weird. Yeah, man. All right. You may be asking, why did you measure that fish? Well, I have an answer for you. Nathan and I are both members of Muskie Inc. And I am working with them to promote good handling, but we also log those fish in the Muskie Inc. lunge log. That way members can, you can look and see where people have caught fish. Uh, biologists can use that information in studies that they do. There's all sorts of things. I would encourage you to go check out Muskies Inc. and let them know you heard it from me. So uh, just a little explanation for that. But we found ourselves another fish. That's awesome. And they're getting a little bit bigger every time. So <laughs> we're working our way up. Still there. <laughs> He's still there. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, dude, he's ramping up. Yeah. Is he back? No, that's what we Oh. He just kind of like mouthed a little bit there. Yeah. Dude, he kept it like every time you put it back over his head, he got closer and closer to hitting though. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, mercifully for me, this trip is over. <laughs> put me out of my misery. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then, yeah, to the coolest fish of the entire trip, I completely got wrapped up in what we were doing, started fishing again, and then went, oh yeah, I've got to stop cameras. And I missed like a cool figure eight hit and a jump. At least I think I did. I've still got to go back and check the footage. So I don't know. <laughs> it's just, this was not my trip. Uh, so we are going to call it quits today. Uh, I've got a little bit of a drive back. So we're going to do that now. And uh, yeah, I don't know what the next thing I'll be doing is. I might just go salmon fishing because muskies are so frustrating right now. <laughs> Maybe I just need a break. Uh, but yeah. I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess, and I'll see you on the next video.